Hello and welcome everybody to 1985. First, huge shout out and thank you to a patron, Torlef, for sending this out. He said I could keep it, so it's now in my collection. And 1985 was really interesting in a golf standpoint. I mean, the Open, the Open is going to start July 14th, 2022. This is coming out a week before then. And if you turn the clock back to 1985, the winner of the Open Championship, the British Open, is Sandy Lyle. So we're going to see who wins next week. I'm excited. I love, I'm excited for another major. And 1985 is also interesting for me for movies and music. Like for me, the big names in the 80s, obviously Michael Jackson, Madonna, amazing performers. But Aretha Franklin stands out as just somebody who's absolutely amazing when it comes to her singing voice. I mean, she had a really powerful singing voice. So you can see on the back, Yamaha ST30, and it does have this bronzish look to it. I'm not sure if the camera picks it up. Sometimes it's hard to tell between like old steel and kind of this bronze aluminum finish, but it definitely looks bronze. It has a nice dark patina to it. So on the aft portion here, you can see Yamaha ST-30, and then up here at the top line on the back, it says Tor Forging. It has an interesting little angular concave back right here. And on the sole, it's, you know, has the iron number. And it looks like there's some forgiveness here on the leading edge. You already showed you the toe profile, the heel profile, pretty long hosel right here. The grooves are interesting, I think, because they're not just no nonsense grooves. There kind of is a different color here. It's almost like they bead blasted or the or something on the face. And then they have these little Y, like Yamaha markings at the ends of the grooves. You can see both heel and toe side. Lovely looking grooves, nice shape, kind of a, this is the six iron. So kind of a pointy toe right there. At address looks Beautiful. I love the look of this at address. Maybe the tiniest bit of offset. There's not much in it. The ferrule, an elongated ferrule with one, is that gold or silver? From this angle, it looks like a gold ring on that ferrule. We move up the true temper, dynamic gold. Stepped shaft, true temper, dynamic gold. Uh, this is my little sticker on here to remind me how awesome 1985 was. And we have a victory grip. So it looks like an golf implement. Let's get this lovely blade out on the range and see how it does. Out on the range, this feels like a blade. It feels spectacular, exactly what you'd expect from an iron. And it feels like, this is just a feeling, I haven't measured the volume and the weight, but it feels like this head has the same density as steel. Like, when I hear about bronze, sometimes I think of like heavy putters, and I'm like, oh, is it just gonna be a heavy iron? No, it feels amazing. So, the engineers, if you're gonna do the math on this and like calculate it compared to, put it in the comments below. I mean, <laughs> some people might be interested, but for the sake of this video, we're not gonna get into that much science. So this, in the 80s, can you imagine Yamaha ST30 gold? In the 80s was just like, the Kardashians gone wild, right? It was like, we're gonna flaunt wealth. We're just gonna flaunt it, who cares? Come see my 30-odd, everybody. That was the 80s. 
And can you imagine rocking these in the 80s? Rock up to the golf course? Yeah, Yamaha ST30 Golds. Wow, all right, that's awesome. Are they made of gold? A legit question in the 80s. And then look at the, how they've aged. The patina on this is spectacular. I so want these so bad. Can you imagine rocking up on a course nowadays with these old like Yamaha blades that look like this? No bling, no shine, just like, it's like, oh my goodness, who is this character? What are those? And just like totally rock these clubs. I think it would be so much fun. Nobody cares what your score is if you have these in the bag. So, you know, for me, I think Yamaha, for me, I think of music. Other people think of cars or other, you know, toys and other things. But for me, I think of music and precision. And I was worried, you know, when when Torlov sent this, I was like, oh no, is it going to be like a boring engineered, like just another blade? And I got it. I was just like, they went crazy with it. It made me so happy. So I can't buy another set. But if I were to buy another set, I'd, compare, I'd pair this with something like a Ping Zing or a Ping Zing 2 maybe. That would actually work out really well. I really like the Penna Woods. <laughs> maybe a McGregor Wood, maybe. Because uh, the McGregors in the 80 were coming out with some interesting things. What woods would you play with this? And what putter would you choose? For me, Ping Zing or Ping Zing 2 all the way. So in the comments below, putter and woods. Urgh, I want, I can't, there's not, I'm running out of space. That's all right. Stay calm. And if you want to support this channel, you can join us on Patreon. I really appreciate my patrons. I provide some general content, usually just pictures and updates about what's going on in the studio and the channels. You can also support us by visiting my Amazon shop. I am an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. Thank you so much for watching. I am the Vintage Golfer.